Okay, what you're gonna see are deleted scenes. Why were they deleted? Who knows? Sometimes it's because the movie was just too long, we had to speed it up. Sometimes it's because eh, it doesn't quite work. Sometimes you want the movie to be funny at that part, and you don't need a dramatic scene. Sometimes you need a dramatic scene, you cut out the funny scenes. Uh, as long as the movie's working, yeah, cut it out, make it shorter. But it breaks your heart. You have so many people who worked on these scenes. Sometimes uh, an actor's entire role gets cut out, which means the actor doesn't get residuals, his name's not in the credits, kills you. Sometimes you build extraordinary sets, you do a spend a fortune on visual effects, and artists do an amazing job, it gets cut out. I hate to say it, that's showbiz, and the reason sometimes movies aren't good is because they don't cut these scenes out. So here they are, like them or not. What do you do when you have 20 minutes of a movie that you realize you could cut out if you just put in a little two-minute scene? Movies are too long. Movies need to be shorter. As if the clues ever do make sense. They never make sense. None of this makes sense. <laughs> Sometimes there's things in those scenes you need. In this film, we thought, okay, what do we do? How do we get around the fact that there's this clue about a hummingbird and all that? I don't see anything that even remotely resembles a hummingbird. Maybe it was better in this sequence, which was really great. That really yeah. brought in Harvey Keitel, the FBI. How is Ben pulling these shenanigans to get this clue about the hummingbird? How does he get rid of uh, Mitch? Then Mitch gets along with it. Go, they find, oh my lord, it was really long. It was great, but it was just too long. So we found a way to shoot a little tiny scene that replaced this entire section. I don't see anything that even remotely resembles a hummingbird. That kind of looks like a turtle. A hummingbird, the earth, the moon. Doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. As if the clues ever do. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Did Mom say anything else? Well, of course, she had to remind me of all the sacrifices she made that I didn't. Sacrifice? Because she was the one who stayed home with you when you were a child. That's right. Son, I can't change the past. No, that's right. That's where the hummingbird comes from. It was a story she would tell me when I was small. A Lakota myth about the hummingbird, Tanahela, the spirit of sacrifice. And she gave me a false clue to send me on a wild goose chase? No, 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 she wouldn't do that. She knew the information was for Ben, not for you. Why that story? She's trying to tell us something. In the story, the hummingbird sacrifices itself to save the earth and the moon, which it believes is its family. She's the hummingbird. Release the hummingbird. We go. Hello, Dr. Gates. Yeah, I thought you might be calling. Put my mother on the phone. Yeah, it's good to hear from you, too. Put my mother on the phone. Hey, buddy, you're not really in a position to uh, give me orders, you know? But since I'm such a nice fellow, here's your mother. Ben? Mom. I'm fine. There's one final clue that only Wilkinson knows. It's enough of that. We've got to do something. Yeah, but what? We're not exactly armed or dangerous. I've got to turn myself in. What? The translation in the second half of the plank says we need to find the big cat. Benjamin would have found it by now. I don't think so. It doesn't exist anymore. Cougar Peak was destroyed during the first phase of construction. We've got to get to the highest point. This is the only way up. I'm Section Chief Peter Sadowski, FBI. <laughs> We do not stop. You were under arrest for the illegal capture and detention of Dr. Emily Apt. Isn't that correct, ma'am? Yes, that is correct. You can put your hands down. Mom. Ben! You're okay. I knew you'd figure it out. 
Turned yourself in, huh? Smart move. No wonder the feds are here. What have you done this time? Your son kidnapped the president of the United States. You know, sir, I'm oddly proud that he pulled that off. Understandably. So, Wilkinson. He has the final clue, doesn't he? Yes, he has a letter to the Confederate General, Pike. From, from the Queen of England. How do you know that? How did you know that? Can we talk alone? Uh-oh. I took the book. Tell me you didn't take that book. Well, why don't you call the president and find out? You know I can't do that. You release me and Wilkinson. I'll tell you where I put it. You know that book's the one thing I can't take a chance off losing. If I let you go, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about where it is? You're the FBI. If you let me go, how long is it going to take for you to catch me? I'm getting caught either way. But this way, you get me, the book, and probably the city of gold. I wouldn't untie Wilkinson if I were you. Now tell me where it is. The lookout. Carney Peak. I'm fine. I am sorry, Mother. I... Thank you, all the same. Sir, not to question your methods, but didn't we come here to arrest Ben Gates? We'll get to that OBE. Right. It's OBE. Overtaken by events. What events? Oh, thank goodness. Ed. Emily! I'm so glad to see you well. I'm sorry I got you into this mess. I believe the last time you said that to me was the night before our wedding. You got your whole family here. Yeah, I do. I'm so glad you're safe. I thought the idea was to get him arrested. Just so we're clear, you touch one of them, I'll kill you. I'm just looking for the treasure, Ben. Just like you. Let's go. Hey, Abigail. How are you? It's OK. Sir. If we asked what was going on, would you tell us? Nope. All right, this first sequence that's been deleted was shot because it was showing the uh, relationship between Ben and Abigail, that they had broken up. Um, we found out that we didn't really need to establish it this early in the movie. The other thing we loved about this scene is that it had humor, and we needed humor early in the movie. That's the one thing I regret about cutting this out. I would have liked there to have been some more humor early in the movie. Instead, we took it out. It takes a little longer to get the jokes in. And a lot of that humor, aside from the main actors, came from an actor named Poetry, who plays the moving man. Had Thomas not burned the legendary missing pages from the Booth Diary, the killers may have found a vast treasure of gold, and the Union may well have lost the Civil War. Thank you. At this time, we'd like to open up with questions from the audience. Yes, sir. Uh, did Charles Gates ever come forward with this information after Lincoln's assassination? I, I beg your pardon. I... 
I know someone who can answer that question far better than I, my father, Patrick Gates. Without his passion for history, none of this would have been discovered. Dad, would you please come up? Very generous of you. Uh, did, he, did he come forward? Was the question. Hello? What's going on? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Gates. The lady of the house is here, sitting in the chair that you tagged for us to move. She won't let us take it. That's because it's not his. Which chair? I don't know. The ugly one. Now you tell him it's the Queen Anne and it's mine. She said that it's the Queen Anne. I heard her. I found it. He found it. But I painstakingly restored it. Tell her I liked it the way it was. He liked it the way it was. It didn't have a seat cushion. Yeah, it didn't even have a... Look, maybe you two stuffed each other. Love to. No. Mr. Gates, I, I don't get battle pay. As long as the lady's in the chair, the chair stays. Okay, do you think we listen to you as filmmakers? You bet. So many people said, I saw the trailer and there's so many great things in the trailer that weren't in the movie. Why? Well, we make the trailer long before we finish the movie. But there are a few things that were in the trailer that didn't make it to the movie, including this little piece from Justin Bartha. There's nothing. Just a big old black hole. Uh, I see death and despair. Mostly death, though. I mean, a little despair in the last few seconds, but then a hard, sudden death. Hey, look at this. It's a ladder. I mean, what's left of a ladder? I hate the old X. I loved this scene when we shot it. Um, this was a really great moment for Justin Bartha as Riley to do something really fun. Uh, he had lived a lot in this scene, and it's... It, it, it's really there to explain how he's able to gain access to the Buckingham Palace computers. When you see the scene, you'll say, okay, that's a good scene, why'd they cut it? But when you see the movie, you say, oh boy, I didn't even realize it was missing. No. Yeah, those CBCX Pro 3200s can be pretty pesky when the system version doesn't match the user upgrades. You know computers? Uh, not really. Well, yeah, a little. It's a bit of a mess, but I think we could handle it. I'm gonna fix it up so you never have to come down here again. How's that? Thank you. Uh, you understand, the Resolute desk is in Her Majesty's private wing. And not even I am allowed in there. I understand. Thank you for your time. Of course. Nasty business about your ancestor. It's not true. Of course it's not. During the escape from the Library of Congress, this scene was awesome. It was Something we really want to do, show it's not that easy to avoid Harvey Keitel and the FBI. Ben gets stuck. He gets on the roof. He finds that the roof where he's going to go is surrounded by that sharp spikes they use to keep birds off it, and he has to walk across a glass ceiling. Big tension, big nervousness, a lot of suspense. When we made the movie, we thought, pace, pace, pace. We don't need this. Keep moving. So it got cut out. But a lot of really good work and a lot of good special effects work went into making this scene.
stop. Now, Pete, I have been going over this and over this, uh, in my head. I, uh, I feel so sorry for putting you in this position. Ben. Don't make me shoot you. Ben! Oh, I need to where you're going. Uh, I used to date a librarian here. Was it cool? This is a scene that everyone said is never going to make it into the movie, and didn't. Uh, we knew we didn't need it, but we had time in the day to shoot it, and they had built the set. It's really a cool idea. And the truth is, when you're making the movie, we didn't know how long it was going to take and how complicated we needed to make John Voight, Helen Mirren's journey to find the city of gold, how many steps they'd have to go through. So here's one additional step they went through that you never saw. Be careful on these steps, this shallow. Look at the tomb. All those people. No other exit. This must be a door. Patrick? Yeah? Tried to open it. Excuse me. Here. Let's taste it. That's it. Okay, this scene is actually in the movie, but the whole scene isn't actually in the movie. Here's a case where I got to let the actors just do what they wanted to do. We found what parts we thought was the most dramatic, but there were some really funny moments and some really grown-up moments that I thought uh, might have been good. It didn't make the movie, but they're on the DVD. Just give me some room. Okay, I'm on the way over the, you as know, far as I can go. You were just like this in bed. What? You were just like this in bed. Oh, my God. 